Hey guys, welcome back to SAM, and today we'll be reading a book, Someone Parted, and I will be reading it to you guys. You won't have to read it by yourself. So, this is the name of the book of the author. Someone Farted by Bruce Eric Kaplan. One Saturday morning, the Crook family went to the supermarket to do their dreaded weekly food shopping. They drove in silence until Sally said quietly, without looking up from her book, someone farted. Everyone took a whiff. She was right. It wasn't me, said Vinny. The parents deemed it was them. Everyone looked at Sally, who finally said it was definitely wasn't me. They all rolled down their windows, but it, the smell kept Clearly, whoever it was still was farting. Which brought a new round of equations and denialize. Their mother, proud overreacting, said, I think I'm going to faint. Vinnie, proud to worrying, asked, Is there any way it could kill us? The smell was still so bad, which only made them more upset. Their mother looked in her bag for something to make the smell go away. All she found was some hand sanitizer, which she all desperately started spraying everywhere. Ow! Their father screamed. Because it got in his eyes. He almost got into a car accident. All police officers, a police officer pulled them over and wanted to know what was wrong. Someone farted. Everyone shouted. Someone farted. Then they, the squabbling began once more. Vinny and Sally erupted and violence, throwing all old junk in the back seat at each other. A toy car Vinny played with once and then never again. An old comic book with pages missing that they read over and over again. A pencil which should never be in a back seat, ever. A small ball that looked like Earth for some weird reason. Accidentally hitting the policeman in the face. Once of the 8,000 party favors that had never made it pull out of a car. So they were arrested and brought to downtown. Here's the picture before. And here's the picture where I just said they were brought to a cell and brought to downtown. They were put in a cell with a couple of kidnappers and some thieves. One of the kidnappers wanted to know what they were for in for what they were in for. Someone farted, Sally explained. The kidnapper edged away from them nervously plugging his nose. Each family member was taken in separately for questioning. Not one of them admitted to fart. Back to 
together in the cell, they all started fighting again. It got uglier and uglier until Vinny started to cry. Maybe it was me, he said. Maybe I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice. His parents looked at him, overcome with emotion. His mother hugged him and said, it was probably me. Then his father said, maybe it was me. Sally said, well, it definitely wasn't me. Her parents shout her angry looks. She's lying, said one of the kidnappers. Sally's mad. The kidnapper said she's lying. Who do you think's right? The kidnapper or Sally is telling the truth. Just then, they were taken to a court for disturbing the peace. The judge was scary like all judges. But that didn't stop the father from giving on and passionate speech about blame and shame and love and family of and of course farting gosh darn it i love my family farts and all the case was dismissed the kidna the croups left jail trumpeting determined to put this all behind them they were at peace, each one full of gratitude and happiness. Until they realized they still needed to do all of the boring things that they did on Saturday. Every start, every Saturday, starting with going to the supermarket. And that's the end of this lovely book. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so we can do more read alouds together. But so you get notified when we do a new video, of course, as well. Peace!